stretched almost to the breaking point. The National Alliance on Mental Illness New Hampshire monitors capacity and staffing issues closely and posts inpatient waiting list numbers daily. I think the ED boarding crisis is such an incredibly visible symptom of, a, of the mental health crisis. Psychiatric boarding is reserved for the most serious cases where risk of self-harm and harm to others is high. A new initiative called the Rapid Response Access Point is one way to get immediate help. It launched in January, logging more than 1,500 calls and 427 mobile deployments. Three or four of our individuals wound up leaving our staff. We're leaving all at the same time, all right, for different reasons. This is one of four mental health support residential homes that just launched last year, offering support for adults coming out of a hospital setting or trying to avoid waiting in an emergency department for a bed. Our staff have, are, have a lived experience. On the road to wellness had to close abruptly because of workforce shortages. Then, on the brink of reopening with new hires, another glitch. Three of those four people didn't show up, all right, type of thing. So like, okay, here's the workforce thing once again, you know, no call, no show, they just didn't, didn't show up. The program is back open and now has a waiting list. The number of children needing psychiatric beds is alarming, according to NAMI. Kiddos are really clearly struggling. And according to NAMI New Hampshire, at the peak of the COVID crisis, 51 New Hampshire children needed inpatient psychiatric care. Live in Manchester this evening, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.